Well, what do you think? What do I think? Batman asking his friends for help for once? Someone pinch me, I'm dreaming. Barry. Oh, brighten up, Bruce. Anyone ever tell you to buy a sense of humor? At least Hal jokes around with me. Hal gets his power from a piece of jewelry. He is the joke. Oh my god, was that a joke? You were actually funny for once? Barry! Alright, jeez. So I sent the schematics you found to Star Labs. It's definitely the Quantum Trigger, but... It's different. The original Quantum Trigger from Earth 3 was... Perfection. Microtechnology, decades ahead of our time. This Quantum Trigger is clunkily built and relies heavily on the Speed Force. The Speed Force? Yeah, so basically the machine alters your body... Barry. Sorry, I get a little excited. Basically, the machine alters your body's natural vibrating frequency to the parallel universe you're trying to go to. And the tachyons it emits acts as a scalpel that cuts open space-time for you to shift through. It's technically a hallway that you're briefly shifting through that's made of the speed force. It's what holds the hallway together. So why can't I get it to work? Well, like I said, it's clunkily built. The thing is incredibly crude. You need speed force when it's not being siphoned off by a speedster who's on the same planet as you within about a 500 mile radius. What's siphoning it off? You're talking to him. I don't suppose that Central City Police give you many vacation days, do they? Oh, I suppose I can hop on the cosmic treadmill for a little bit and get out of your hair. Thank you, Barry. I promise I'll explain everything later. No, you won't. End transmission. Didn't even say goodbye. It does warm my old heart seeing you reconnect with old friends, sir. Instead of just staying down here, cussing out that damn remote control looking device. I brought you leftovers. You missed supper again. Eat. I'm not hungry at the moment, Alfred. Master Bruce! You have hardly slept or eaten in the last two weeks since you came home from Luther's warehouse. Either you eat and take a power nap, or I shoot you with a tranquilizer dart and shove a feeding tube down your throat. Fine. Oh, and I want those guns out of the house, Alfred. Oh, absolutely, sir. You just go ahead and find them all first, and then I'll remove them. Warning. Warning. High-speed sensors are detecting something approaching the manor Mach 3. Kryptonian origin. It's Clark. Strange. Must not be an emergency if he's moving that slow. I'll escort him down, sir. Incoming call from... Arkham. Asylum. Wayne resident, Bruce speaking. Mr. Wayne, it's Eric Border. I hope I'm not disturbing you, sir. Oh, no, no, you're fine. How's Harvey doing? <laughs> no need to panic. Mr. Dent is doing quite well. We're making strides in a great new direction. Say hello, Harvey. Hi, Bruce. Yes, I'm calling because GCPD is calling off the search for Dr. Hugo Strange. They're releasing his computer and files back to Arkham since they can't break the encryption on it. I'm calling all his former patients and receiving their permission before wiping the files and repurposing his equipment. Oh, well, I appreciate the heads up, but I only had a few sessions with Doctor Strange. No luck on finding his whereabouts? I really wish I had a better answer for you, sir, but no. Uh, it's been months since he vanished. The police suspect foul play, but between you and I, I think he fled the country. There were rumors that the Batman and the police were closing in on some shady dealings he was in. You don't say. Well, at least Arkham is in good hands with you, Mr. Border. Please, let me know if there's anything more I can do for you. Absolutely, Mr. Wayne. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Wesker, what have we talked about? When making new puppets. Oh, oh, but I... Ah, ah, ah. Butts are for sitting Arnold, and socks are for wearing. How would Big Bad Harv like to decide Arnie's punishment?
They still can't get into Hugo Strange's files? Um... <clears throat> no, not yet. A biometric lock. It's his failsafe. He set it up where only he can access them. Anybody else tries and it fries the files. You'll figure something out, sir. You always do. I'll leave the two of you be. Oh, well, thank you, Pennyworth. What's with the civilian getup, Clark? Well, some of us still have to make a living. Plus, you never know who's watching. Keep him busy? You have no idea. I followed the specs for the quantum trigger that we took from Luther, but it's completely different from the first one. Nothing makes sense. Okay, okay. Time out. Start from the beginning. Act as though I have no idea what's happened before. Third party point of view. Go. All right. A while back, we were contacted by Alexander Luther from Earth 3 a parallel version of our reality. He asked for our help in taking down the Crime Syndicate, basically an evil version of the Justice League. We took down the big guns like Ultraman with blue kryptonite. Look at all that gaudy gold. I'd never wear something like that. Oh man, the brains of the Crime Syndicate created a bomb. He discovered that every version of reality starts at one point. Earth Prime. We're like branches on a tree, and he wanted to rip out the seed. Why? He was insane. A nihilist. He said nothing mattered since a multiverse exists, and destroying everything was the only choice one could make. Was? He died that day. It was the only way to save everything. I tricked him. And trapped him with his own bomb. Sent him to an empty world. Okay, so... So then why is our Lex Luthor saying he was contacted by theirs? The Luthor on Earth-3 destroyed the Quantum Trigger, so it wouldn't be used again. Why would he reach out and ask for help to build one again? Worse. I was at least able to use what I had so far to at least let me view other Earths. Earth-3 hasn't changed much. Luthor is happy rebuilding. The crime syndicate is still in prison, Owlman is still dead, billions of people just living in... With every choice we make, we literally create another world. History branches in two, creating one Earth, where we made the choice, and a second, where we didn't. That's the secret of the universe, you know. Billions of people making billions of choices, creating infinite Earth. There's no way. Computer! Insert the following parameters. What are you doing? Inserting a subvariant equation into the trigger. We weren't thinking small enough, were we? Program complete. Show me. What exactly am I looking at? Oh man, new. Billions of people all making billions of choices. That's why he didn't care if he died. Because there's an infinite amount of Earth-3. How? Oh. Each main Earth we know vibrates at a different frequency, all overlapping each other's realities. Earth-1, 2, 3, etc, etc. Each one of those Earths can now be broken down further. All the important choices people make and don't make. 
That's what creates the multiverse. That's what he was trying to tell me. Infinite choices. Infinite Ultramen. And Infinite Owlmen. Each one slightly different than the other. Something small as costume changes. Different powers. Different strengths, weaknesses. Barry just entered the Speed Force. We can... Remnant Tachyons. What? What is it? One of the Wayne satellites just picked up traces of tachyons, just over a few days old. Someone used a quantum trigger to get here recently. Well, can you trace it? With Barry gone, probably. I just need to add the subvariant equation into the mix and... There. The next Earth 3 in the chronological sequence. Either Alman is here or someone else is. Who could it be? Hold on, let's see if we can find the Luther of this Earth 3. He may have more information. He's dead. The crime syndicate killed him. And now they're here. We have to prepare. We don't know who's here yet. We don't know what they're capable of. We cannot allow them to exploit our weaknesses. Bats, listen to me. Let me take your kryptonite supply somewhere safe. Somewhere where they can't use it against me. You know I can't do that. You know we have to be ready. That Ultraman was weak to blue kryptonite, right? Okay, so if we just gather that up, we can... We can at least... You know that I'm not him, don't you? Yes. I studied that file for forever. Where'd I mess up? He calls me Bruce. Ooh! A kryptonite version of that might actually do some damage. A 40 millimeter grenade launcher? <laughs> the file said you don't like guns. It's a tool I use to clear debris, rubble, and other trash that gets in my way. Hypocrite. Hello, Ultraman. You have no idea how good this feels. Imagine my surprise when I was given the green light to kill you. I've been wanting to kill a Wayne for years. Canary recording arm. You'll have to wait a little longer. I know you're still here, Wayne. You don't seem to understand. You came to my house. Pretended to be my friend. You're not leaving. You really are just like him, aren't you? An arrogant, pathetic little human. <laughs> what? Are you too scared to even try your kryptonite weapons against me? <laughs> you really are weak. You want kryptonite? Then come take it! Finally. Oh, this... This is what I've been... You were a bit too adamant on wanting kryptonite. I assume you're the opposite of Superman. And that's where you get your powers from. Curious. Is solar radiation your weakness then? That's concentrated fume toxin. Courtesy of Scarecrow. To a full-powered Kryptonian, it's harmless. But to one losing his powers... Go ahead. Breathe it in. That's fear. You're not brave. Clark is brave.
Enough. I just punctured a lung and cracked three more ribs. Give me the kryptonite or I burn this planet down. <laughs> Starting with the old man upstairs, Pennyworth. Computer, security level Omega. Password, Delta Charlie-27-5-1939. Enable protocol, Agamemno contingency. Last sun's last stand, solar flare. The other Justice League members think that I'm too cruel, too calculating. That I only came up with contingency plans to stop them. They were always wrong. I call this Solar Flare. If we ever needed to give Clark a quick boost to his powers, this room floods his cells with yellow solar radiation. For you though, well... I think you can feel yourself starting to become human. No! the last of my power Incoming. to watch you die. Mach 10. That's more like it. What is? Get away from my friend, you son of a bitch! True power. Oh. How is he? He's depowered. That final hit of yours was enough. I'm sorry I was late. Emergency in Atlantis. Arthur called me. I knew you'd come, Clark. I just needed to hold out. Sorry for the noise, Alfred. We're all fine here. Put that away. Oh, that's enough of that, Bruce. <laughs> oh, look at you. So much like your father. So much like Thomas. If he dies, I swear, I will- Oh, stop it. Kryptonite bullets hurt just as much as regular bullets. <coughs> now. I do believe it is time for us to get you home. It was so good seeing you again, Bruce. <laughs> Move! Bruce, go upstairs. Go get my med kit. I... For God's sake, son, that wasn't me! Now go upstairs and grab my med kit. I need to keep pressure. Just breathe. You're all right. It's okay. Shh, no worries. Didn't even say goodbye. are on their way here now. I'm starting it up. You stop lecturing everyone. This is a mistake, Lex. You know it. Come on, Clark. Let him do it. All right. Starting what up the? in three, two, one. Oh, okay. That's how we want to do this? There is... 
Clark? What is he doing? Lex, I can see him. Can you increase the power? I'm doing what I can here, Smallville. What you see is what you get. We're pulling in a ton of power as is. He needs to get closer to the portal. No! We just punched a hole through space-time using the speed force. Clark's Kryptonian cells can't last much longer without being ripped to shreds. You couldn't make it perfect like last time? Freeze was the one who designed this thing. I only managed to grab some of his notes before that monster murdered him. All right, hold on a second, mate. Oh wait, Kent! You can take another step forward. I've given you a temporary protection spell. How long can you hold it? Not bloody long enough, mate. What? Bruce! You can't let him face Owlman! You can't help him! I just did! He just called! Did he just say he already did? This isn't right. Lex, what date did you open the portal to? Clark, it opened too early! It was supposed to go back a few more months! What day is it? It's the day the Flash disappeared into the Speed Force. Whatever happened back then, it's about to happen. Barry! Run! Hal? It's too late! We'll find you, though! I promise! We will find you! Something's wrong. What the hell just happened? Same old story, still too slow, and letting everyone around him die. Eobard Thawne. Catch me if you can, Flash. This thing's fried. What just happened? The portal destabilized early and collapsed. What exactly did you see before it happened? A lot of red lightning. Oh great. Bloody reverse flash. It makes sense. Nobody hates Barry as much as the reverse flash. He must have trapped Barry in the speed force somehow. <sighs> Sorry I had to cut the, the reunion room. short, Barry. Couldn't have them spoiling the surprise. What surprise, Thon? What was that? <laughs> that? That was the last Hail, Hail Mary of stopping their timeline, timeline from occurring. occurring. Why? What's so bad about it? I wish you could view time the same way I can, Flash. It's an unending ocean of possibilities. And your friend Batman is on a collision course with the best one. You're working with Owlman. That's what this is about, isn't it? <laughs> Owl Man? man. <laughs> no, 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 Barry. You're thinking too small. You have to look at everything. Details. Strange, border, Batman, Batman the owls, owls, the clown. You just said it's not about Owl Man in Earth 3. <laughs> I mean, that is true. But his death is it's just the catalyst for everything that follows. Bruce doesn't kill. He'll find another way. You truly have no idea how funny this all is to me. The irony of your words. If you only knew the enemy, your friend Bruce is about to unleash. Someone that I thought was just a myth for centuries. That's not good. Yeah, no, it's not. Sensors are picking up a lot of movement. I can barely hear them. Yeah, not really surprised with this lot. Court is now in session. It's him. Look alive. John, can you get us out of here? Thought you'd never ask. Last episode of the Lord of the Wolf. Why, Missy? Oh, me. He knows magic now. 
John. John, look at me. You need to calm down. I... Guys technically aren't alive. Don't hold back. After what they did to Bruce, I wasn't planning on it. Everyone, get behind me! I can make a shield. Go, look out! <laughs> Fear toxin. Really? Do you not know who I am? In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my. In my sight. How? I can't see. I, I can't see. Lex, what's going on? The fear toxin. How? You can see. I can't. I'm, I'm blind. You can see how. The ring. It's your ring. The willpower mixed with fear is making the ring will your mind to thinking you're blind. I can't make what I can't see. I can't make what I can't see. I don't deserve to be a lantern anymore. I can see it. Guys, guys, I can see. Jordan of Earth has perished. Searching for new wearer in Sector 2184. How? Lex, there's something wrong with my powers. Clark, get away from it! You should listen to your friend Clark. That's gold kryptonite. Enough of that and you're depowered permanently. Lincoln March. Is that you in there? Last time I saw you, you were running for mayor of Gotham. I'm pulling my funding. Bold of you to assume Lincoln was ever my real name. What, now you're... his lapdog? The court has ruled Gotham from the shadows for centuries. Now, we Talons, with him in charge, we can rule the world. Bring true justice. We just have a couple of obstacles in the way. And you're gonna help. I'd never help you. You took my friend from me. <laughs> like the big man said, we don't need you alive, just your body. I think you forgot who taught me how to fight. That future will never happen. We're not killers like you. Bruce isn't a killer. Oh, maybe not directly, Barry, but indirectly. <laughs> Batman is good at finding those gray areas. <laughs> what are you, a Johnny Quick, Quick? Since you're so obsessed with Earth 3. No, that... That was different. Batman, Batman literally, literally tricked Johnny into vibrating so fast that it opened up a portal for him to follow and stop Owlman the first time. I... Wake up and smell the speed force, Barry! He lied! And what happened to Johnny afterwards? He did it to protect us. To save the multiverse. Owlman was going to destroy reality by blowing up Earth Prime. I... Seriously, if only you knew. It's so fun. Knew what? The ultimate practical joke, Barry. Take it from a paradoxical being who's an expert on paradoxes. 
you all were never in any danger. It was all for nothing. Johnny Quick, now man, their debts. Nothing. What do you mean? Oh, spoilers, Barry. Our part in this story is over. And thanks to our rambling on, you never even noticed I was soaking the speed force right out of you. Bye bye, Barry. Have fun trying to get out of this one without any speed. Don't. Say the word, Bruce. Bruce.